And now you're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda with me, Ruth Inasege. Here we look at stories making news around Uganda. We start off the bulletin from Rubirizi District, where the death toll of people who were consumed by fire from a fuel tank explosion in Chambura Trading Center has risen to 21. Five people are reported to be admitted at Kampala International Teaching Hospital, while two are admitted at Kirimbe Hospital in Kasese district. The tragedy befell on the area on Sunday at around 3.30 p.m. when the driver of the fuel tank en route to Kasese district lost control of the fuel tank overturned before it rammed into a minibus and a small car which is a primo which were parked at a Chambora stage. On overturning and colliding with the parked vehicles, it went into flames and the petrol fire spread on the shops, killing the shop occupants, the food, the food and drink vendors, and the nearby houses were set on fire. Let's move into Gulu district. We are speaking from the outlines of the just concluded Uganda National Dialogue. The former Uganda Investment Authority Executive Director Dr. Magichi Gosu is also the consultant at the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, said people are the solution to the country's problems, but not the elder population like herself. Data shows. Poverty is here, disease is here because of that past. And uh, we are not the solutions. We, as the elders, we are not the solution. You, the people, are the solution. With the dialogue attracting over 600 people, Dr. Magichiguzi noted that Uganda's economy is going well. It's doing well, but the riches are not well distributed. Economy, people feel they are poor people have no jobs. Others are getting richer. As a country, we're doing well when you look at the economy. But is it equitable? Is everybody benefiting? And the answer is really no. So what do we need to do? The country's problems, which she noted, include poorly stocked healthy facilities, land issues, and poverty. But she encouraged working alongside government, which passes new laws. And working together, we have government on board. So government has the, the ability to make changes, to pass new laws, to, if it requires a law, to invest in something, put money where it should go, where the schools are bad, where, you know, so government is definitely. Yes, the launching New Vision TV news with me, Ruth, and I said you would take a break and look at what is making news in a today's copy of the New Vision. For those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. Yes, the watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. We continue looking at more stories making news around Uganda. From Yumba District, 63% of the civil works on the ongoing construction of Yumba Hospital are complete. Bernard Aimani, the treasurer of the engineers in West Nile, has said, the hospital, whose construction is expected to cost $18 million, which is about 66 billion shillings, will have 200, 215 beds and increase from the 100-bed facility. The hospital construction project is funded by the government through the loan secured from the Arab Development Bank. The construction that is currently at the roofing stage has impressed profession engineers under their umbrella organization, the Uganda Institution of Profession Engineers, West Nile Branch. Moving on, Mukono Muspaiti Member of Parliament, Betty Nambos of Achideke, wants to reintroduce a private member's bill, the Alcoholic Drinks Control Bill. Nambos in 2016 wanted to be granted leave, but the Healthy Ministry asked Parliament to stay her proposal, arguing they planned to table the similar bill. 
Closing off the news around Uganda is a story from Kampala, Uganda's capital city. The hearing of an appeal against imprisonment for life of the Tablik Muslim clerics convicted of treason is set for August 26th. The session will be presided over by the Deputy Chief of Justice Alfonso Owinidoro. Justice Elizabeth Musoki and Cheborion Barshaki. The clerics are Asiraji Kawoya, Mohammed Yunis Kamoga, Muta Mude Bukenya, Fahad Kalunji, and Abdul Sekayanja Salam. That is all I had for you today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook is the New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision, or Instagram is at New Vision, or, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth, the voice. Thank you for watching.